All right, students, as we go over these two problems, I have to use my computer because my iPad is not working. So uh, let's go over this. And my writing is going to be a little messy just because I'm on a computer screen. So if we look at the first problem, a pair of jeans is marked up 180%. There is a 20% discount. And after 7% sales tax, you bought the pair of jeans for $37.82. What was the original cost before markup? So I am going to start by using part equals percent multiplied by whole. Now, there are many different ways you can do this, and that is completely fine, whatever you choose. But you need to make sure you're able to use an equation or proportion or something um, where I can see your ability to use variables in solving for a percent. But here's our equation. So we have to undo the sales tax first. Well, what we're paying, the $37.82, that's actually the part. Because we're taking a percent of a whole to get that $37.82. Now, we don't know what that whole is. But we do know the percent of sales tax is 7%. So if you are actually um, paying 7% sales tax, what is the percent that $37.82 is. Well, we take the cost, we add the 7% tax, that means we're paying 107%, which as a decimal is 1.07, multiplied by the original cost here, like the cost right before the 7%. So 107% of some number gives us 37.82. Now, if we divide 37.82, divided by 1.07, that gives us about $35.35. But I'm not going to round because we want to use um, the most accurate data as possible. So I'm going to do that. That's what it says on my calculator. But I'm just going to leave it on my calculator. So that's W. We then take that and we use that amount. And now we have to undo the 20% discount. So we take that $35.35 approximately. Our part, now, what percent is that of the cost? We have W, we don't know it, 20% has been taken off. So that means we take what? 80%. Because 80% of some amount gives us our $35.34. We divide, so I'm just gonna, on my calculator, I already have that $35.34. And 30, you know, three, four, five, seven, and so on. I'm going to divide by 0.8. And that gives me approximately $44 and about 18 cents. But I'm going to leave that on my calculator. That's the cost before the 20% discount. We go even further. We use that amount as our part. And now it's 180% markup. So if something is marked up 180%, that means we're paying 280%. So 280% of some original amount gives us the 44. So I'm going to take what's on my calculator, divide by 2.8, and that gives me, and now let's round this, $15.78. So what's the original cost before the markup? The original cost was $15.78. Let's do the same thing for this one. We have a DVD. The cost is $15.03. That's after two discounts and sales tax. So we're going to start with $15.03. Eight and one fourth percent sales tax means that I'm paying 108 percent. I'm sorry, 108 and a quarter percent, which is 1.0825 of some number, gives me the $15.03. So I divide, which I'm doing right now. And you get $13 and about 88 cents. Um, but we're going to leave all the decimals on my calculator. And that equals W. I now have to undo the 25%. So that means the $13 and 88 cents and so on. That's if it's 25% off, that means that's 75% of some number. 75% of some number is $13 and 88 cents. So I divide by 0.75. That is $18 and about 51 cents, and so on. And we'd use that same amount. 
Now it's 5% off. So if it's 5% off, that means we're this amount right here is our part. It's 95% of some amount. So I divide by 0.95. And that means the final cost is $19.49. We didn't round until the very end, so we are accurate. And that would be the actual amount right there. All right. So I'm going to take this right here. And this is from your work in class work, your practice. But we're going to go over a couple of these since some students have um, struggled with some of these interest problems that are a little more difficult. Let's take 35. How many years will it take for $2,000 double at a simple interest rate of 8%? Explain how you found your answer. Well, I'll explain it as I go. We have our formula. Notice I'm writing my formula down in our interest. Well, our interest, here's the deal. It says we want to double what we currently have. We know we're doubling. We're starting with $2,000. So that's my principle. 8% is 0 0.08. How long? So that's T. If I have $2,000, and I want it to double. That means I want it to end up at 4,000. So that means 2,000 plus another 2,000 gives me my 4,000. That means we want interest of 2,000 as well. So 2,000 divided by 2,000 multiplied by 0 0.08. What I'm going to do first is just simplify 2,000 multiplied by 0 0.08 or 8% of 2,000 is 160 T. I then take 2,000 divided by 260. I'm sorry, 160, not 260. Let's try that again. 2,000 divided by 160 is 12 and a half. So the time is 12 years and six months, or 12 and a half years. All right, 36. You have two loans. Oh, two loans. Notice what I'm going to do. I'm going to write I equals PRT twice. Oh. The total interest. So we don't know what each one is. We're going to leave it as I. The first loan. Uh, you have a principal of $800. So $800. Multiply by 7.5%, so 0 0.075, and it says two years, okay? So interest would be 800 multiplied by 0 0.075 times 2. That means the interest on the first one is 120 bucks. Well, we know the combined interest, the combined interest, is 138 bucks. So if it's 138, this one has 120. That means that the interest here is going to be 18 bucks. The principal, we don't know because we have to find that. The rate is 3%, so 0 0.03. And for two years, so we solve this. So 18 equals, so you take basically 3% multiplied by 2. Uh, which would give us 0 0.06p. We divide both sides by 0 0.06. And what do we get? We get 300 bucks. So the principal of the second loan is $300. And there you go.